Hello everyone! Before I dive you straight into this video, I feel like there's a few things that need to be cleared up before I dive you right into it. So, the elevators in this video you're about to watch are located at a very interestingly laid out huge office building in downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. Now, this building is pretty unique. It was actually formerly the um, St. Pete headquarters for the Tampa Bay Times, and it's comprised of three buildings. The original wing of the building, which is located right in the middle, was built in 1924. The wing extending to the right of the building, the original building, was added in 1968. And the building you see on the far left was added in 1988. Now, as you can see, when each of the expansions were done to the building, they were, all the buildings were stitched together, and you can easily access them all on the intermediate floors. Now, this place has quite the interesting elevator layout. Now, first things first, I will not be disclosing the location, even though you'll be able to easily see it in the video. The reason being is because security here has watched me like a hawk when I've came in here. And because of the elevators that you are going to see that I've discovered in this building, I don't want the building owners to easily be able to look this video up on Google and easily find it. So with that being said, if you guys list the location of any of the elevators here in the comments below, your comments will be deleted the moment I see them. Now, with this all being said, let's get into the backstory of my history of this building. So, I first discovered this building back in March of 2021, and I looked through the window of the 1920s wing doors, and I saw what appeared to be a couple of vintage Otis elevators. Now, I didn't get to go into that part of the building and ride them, and I couldn't get a close-up enough look to verify what fixtures they have had. But anyways, I went over to the main entrance of the building, which is in the 1988 wing, and at that time, the Montgomery elevators that were in that wing were in the final stages of a modernization by Kone. Now, unfortunately, before I could even get on the elevators, security questioned me, and needless to say, I just left. Now... I did not return to this building again until December of 2022, when I was in town with William, also known as Elevator Man 227. Now, when I went in this building this time around, I did ride the main elevators in the building, and I explored the building when I got off on one of the upper floors, and what do you know? I found the defunct elevators in the original wing, and they turned out to be square, touch-sensitive Otis's, and I also found a huge Otis Lexan service elevator. Now, at the time I was in the building, none of the vintage elevators in the building were in service. They had no life in them whatsoever. Whenever I hit the call buttons, they wouldn't light up, and... I thought it was very unfortunate, because obviously, had they been original and working, this would be a very historic find in Florida, especially given how strict building codes are, and plus it would have just been amazing nonetheless to have found some amazing vintage Otis's in what is a very big building like this. Now... I um, didn't return to this building again after this visit until March of 2023, and that was when Riley, also known as Airplane and Elevator Fan 8150, was in town. Now, unlike last visit to this building in December of 2022, I did end up deciding to film the elevators here. I originally didn't film them in December of 2022 because... Initially, to me, they just didn't strike me as being that interesting, because, you know, they're just Kone's with mad touch to go. But when I came back here in March of this year, I was like, eh, why not? Let's just film them anyways. And this time around, 
when I filmed these elevators and we got off on the intermediate floors of the building, we walked over to what were the supposedly defunct vintage Otis's, and we discovered a bit of hope that maybe, just maybe, they may not all be completely dead. Now, with that all being said, um, I'll leave you guys to know for sure what their status is at the end of the video. But for now, though, we are going to now jump into my visit to this building that was that took place back in March of this year. Um, this video you're about to watch, or this clip of it anyway, was taken back in March of 2023. And in this section of the video, we ride the Kones, we look around the building, and we have quite the surprise when we uh, walk over to the defunct Otis's. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy. Sit back, relax, and without further ado, um, enjoy the video. And yeah, that's all I have to say. All right, this is the elevator here at 491st Avenue, downtown St. Pete. Is this the highest? Yeah. Mm. I'm going to start on two. Okay. These are former, I think, Montgomery's, but yeah. modded by Kone. You can tell by the door track, Mac interlock. Yeah. Two? Yep. Doors don't fully open all the way on these. Mm hmm. There we go. These were modded relatively recently. I never saw the originals, though. My guess is that they would just have Adams. Now, I'm going to show you something. I think it's on three, but we'll go back up first. Yeah. Hopefully we don't go back down. Yep, here we go. Yeah. When we go back down, I'm gonna show you something on three, I think, is yeah. where it is. You can probably take her out a diff car, I don't like this one. Hmm. Cause like it's all jammed and it takes a bit to open fully. Yeah. Alright, three. Very touch sensitive. Mm hmm. There we go. That's a huge indicator, too. Mm hmm. Right, let's be quiet when we get out because security is in the lobby and this is a open atrium building. Yeah. Third floor. Alright, we're good here. Let's get off here. Going down. Watch this close. Let me show you. Let me show you something. This is an empty floor. And if you go back here, there's something interesting. Here we have a ThyssenKrupp service elevator. Or actually, no, it's Kone 2, I think. But look over here, though. Got something interesting here. Yep. Yeah, that one's a Kone as well. Right here. Over here, the defunct touches I was telling you about. But sadly, they don't work. They got a Kone sticker there, but I doubt they're actually fixing or modding these. Yeah. That's so ass. Like. At least we get to see the outside of them, though, if we have if they ever do get modded. Mm -hmm. This would have been an amazing. Jason to wire your stuff up. Yeah. 
And there's one more. Huh, what? It's lit? What the hell? Right here we got a Lex in here. The call button's lit for it. Huh. Maybe it works. Let's wait a minute or two. Here's something in here. It says hmm. stairwells for... I'm guessing there's, like, power to it, but maybe it's, like, on independent service on one of the other floors. Probably. Still, that's cool. I think there's another entrance on the other side of the building. Maybe we can try tracking it down there. Yeah. All right. go around to get back onto the main ones and you got a lot of old tube TVs here too yeah. that's cool there's the modded service car sweet so that, yeah, this one's actually pretty interesting. Yeah. I like it when they use Mad more than the Mix. It looks a little bit nice. It looks like Canadian. Going down. Go to one, actually. Is that an easy way on one? I don't know. I kind of feel tempted to get down there though, because I'm wondering if the Lexan is parked down there. Yeah. Going down. Basic cab. Yeah. I don't know how easy it is. It's too late. Yeah, I'm gonna end here. This is security time right there. All right, that's it. Yeah, I was absolutely surprised to go over by that Otis Lexan elevator and see the call stations lit up. I was not expecting that because literally just a few months before that video was taken, there was no sign that that elevator ever was working in recent years at all. Now, after this visit, I end up returning to this building in July of 2023. And this visit to the building, I come back here with um, Zane, William, and Adam, and... Words cannot describe how excited I was when I come back here and see that the Otis Lexan elevator that wasn't working just a few months ago is now fully functioning. Now, I don't know if this is just temporary or what the deal is or if we were really lucky, but needless to say, when... Um, William hit the call button and I saw that the elevator was working. I was so surprised and excited and obviously I wanted to get right on it when I had the chance to. And so with that, uh, let's now fast forward to July of 2023 and we will now ride this very epic Otis Lexan service elevator. So with that said... 
Let's go take it for a ride. Oh my gosh, guys, it's working. This is an original Otis Lexan elevator here in St. Pete. Wow. Yeah. That's a freight door. We're all in this together. Oh, is it going to three? Yeah. Does it call it down to Oh, nice, nice. Bring it off here. Yeah, we probably should. Wow, it actually worked. That's crazy. I'll show you. <laughs> How are we gonna get out of here too? That's my thing. Mm. Maybe we can get out through the Lexan. That'll be it. Decommissioned. Yeah, I'm gonna film another video. That... One. Oop. Does it not work? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, please do not exit on the first floor. This is so cool. This is awesome. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. We've overstayed our welcome. Yeah, let's go. So what did you guys think of that elevator? Words cannot describe how excited I was when I saw that that elevator was working. And out of the three Otis Lexan elevators that have been found in St. Pete, I'd have to say that one's easily my favorite. From the rear freight style door, the humongous cab, the unique COP, um, the interesting, very vintage looking green um, cab, you name it, like, this is easily the best out of the Lexans that have been found in St. Pete so far. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking that that video wasn't the greatest. I do apologize for that. Um, we were a bit nervous going into this building because we didn't want to get busted and whatnot. Um, I will eventually make it back to this building with the intention of getting a better take of this elevator. But that's not the only reason I'd like to return to this building. In addition to riding that elevator, we found another bank of elevators here. Now, when we were on the um, third floor of the building, I had noticed how much longer the building was past this elevator, and I thought, hmm, maybe there's another bank of elevators. And sure enough, there is and wait until you see what they are. Okay guys, you guys are not gonna believe what we just found. We just found original touch in Florida. Question is, do they work?
Huh. Yeah, they're not coming. Hmm. Weird. Now you're probably wondering what happened after we turned off our cameras. After this, we waited a couple more minutes to see if an elevator would show up. One never came. So, needless to say, after waiting a little bit, we decided to walk down to both the second and the first floor of the building to see if the elevators were working or if they were parked on one of those floors. When we did that, the call stations were lit up, but same situation, an elevator was not on the floor. Now, we did not go up to floors four or five, so there could have been a possibility that one of the elevators was parked there on independent service. Now, we don't know this for sure, or what the deal was, or if they were actually broken, or, you know, really what the deal here is. But with that being said, as you see, when we hit the call buttons, they did light up. And being that that was the exact same situation with the Otis Lexan elevator a few months ago where the call stations lit up even though the elevator wouldn't come, considering the fact we made it back to the building and the elevator worked, that gives me just a little bit of hope that maybe, just maybe, Otis Touch may not be extinct in Florida after all. At least not yet. Now, I will be returning to this building from time to time whenever I'm able to, and hopefully at least one of the Otis Touch elevators will be working when I get the chance to come back here. Either that or, again, it could have just simply been parked on independent service on 4 or 5. I don't know for sure. But I will eventually be making it back to this building when I get the chance to, because I just really hope that that elevator w is working. And considering the call station's lit, I have just a little bit of hope. So, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments, and... Um, without much else to say, um, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and, um, stay tuned for more content, and yeah, that is going to be it.